But what really is AI? Well, AI is possibly a set of algorithms, as simple as that. But what purpose is it helping us achieve? You know, at the end of the day, how is it making us have a better customer experience? How is it helping us manage our supply chains in a better way? You know, probably better visual inspection, smarter production, manufacturing, higher productivity. Or how is it helping us uh, be safer? Learning about, you know, whether it is sensors in the car or technology coming in and whether it is 5G, V2X, etc. I think cars uh, are going to move more from hardware to an element where it's going to be a, a software package on four wheels. The usage of AI, um, it cuts across all verticals of our company. Now all that data is being fed uh, using AI and that helps to ensure that we are able to now predict based on combination of human behavior as well as uh, I think uh, surroundings, situations that what causes the accident and then how can you take that data back and build cars which can sort of uh, ensure that those sort of things are not repeated. So from an auto industry perspective that can we take it to the next level where uh, some of the new digital technologies which are coming in, how do we take that, whether it is blockchain, whether it is AI, whether it is ML and others. The data ownership, who will be the owner of the data? The OEMs, the suppliers, the ecosystem providers, the insurance, the banks or the customer himself. There is something called collision mitigation braking system where, you know, suddenly if something comes up and you're not that alert, the car stops by itself. Now, if you are awake, let me be very frank, if you are awake, you cannot use that function because you will keep fearing that should I brake or should I not brake, should I wait the car to brake. But if you are actually sleepy, the car actually brakes.